I'll keep my eye on the computer just in case the prior attempt to make this video comes up. I will note that my computer crashed completely unable to upload a video when it came to the topic that I'm going to engage in this morning a second time. A little bit of history is involved in understanding what happened. And this might seem to you grossly trivialized by the fact that some people consider it a cult of its own to continue to care about the administration of JFK. But Mick Jagger played a role in his assassination. And if you follow, as I do, the TikTok war, you saw, oh, I'm going to get to how he, what role he played. You were treated yesterday to a sight of ancient Mick doing his jogging routines. You know, I used to watch the very Reverend Citizen Geiger preparing as an army um, reserve for deployment to Iraq. And it resembled what Mick Jagger was up to in his laundry room. At the age, we're told, of 80. And he's, um, some people think he's like a Faust character. He can live to be 110. And then we'll see if how he kisses them about his rock machine which claim copyright for all of the beauty of Allah. And this history involves Liverpool, but let's start with the name Lee Harvey Oswald. Lee Harvey Oswald was, um, I must insist on boring you, a namesake for Oswald Mosley, who was the leader of the British Union of um, Fascists. He was a friend of Ribbentrop. Maybe you know something about the Third Reich and realize that Ribbentrop was a um, diplomat for Adolf Hitler, who David Bowie, a friend of Mick Jagger, called the world's first rock star. Now, Oswald Mosley was out there in um, Parliament of the far right wing in, in uh, Duke Edwards, England. Who Duke Edwards was a friend of the world's first rock star. The thin white Duke. And in the war between the states, as it was called by the Netherlands, uh, by the, by the uh, Dixons, um, Liverpool was the seat of the Confederate Secret Service. In Wichita, there was a group called the Silver Shirts, Silver Legion. They were part of the American Bund, which was the American fascists. They wanted to fly the swastika in Topeka, which is why Cynthia Lennon wanted to call the band Silver Beetles. Beatles were named by Adolf Hitler, the world's first rock star, gave the world's first uh, rock band uh, the name Beatles for his VW Beetle. And the TikTok war has shown a lot of loping of Asian pretties going back and forth across the screen. Now, I'm 63 years old and have been given Parkinson's by the brutal attacks of the cowards of um, the Rolling Stones, who attacked me blindside as a child through a man named Casper, which is relevant. They were saying, Cas Lennon gassed me because Casper is the friendly ghost of Lennon. They kidnapped the torch from me and gassed me in a place called King's Estate. 
So my life is going to be severely abridged. I'm one of the uh, people with lost phantom limbs. I can't um, be the swain I used to be in the way Mick Jagger is in his 80s, prancing around like um, he's in the Army Reserve about to get sent off to Iraq. So, where do we get the double life that's at work in double fantasy is that not in Paul to Houdini. And the reason we know that that's a fact isn't just because of the language arrangements, things like Casper and Lazarus, and the tracing of the script to You Only Live Twice, but the fact that nobody, not even George Galloway, has addressed it. Galloway is a Anglicanation of Gale got away, Gale away, got away, because um, Lennon's Houdini black box was meant to be taken for leverage to live in the best of both worlds. Like the way that Jagger got a hardy to come on to me was to convince her that she was doing Lennon's will by serving Adolf Hitler, Casper, and the way they convinced. See, in Spy versus Spy, you want the Nazis to spy on the Democrats. How about if you get the Democrats to spy on other Democrats for the Nazis while convincing them that it's glorious? Well, that's what they did in Seattle with Lenin and Sudini. Now, another way that we know that Jagger was involved in the murder of JFK is that Oswald worked for a place called Jagger Stovall, and you're going to put on your squawking bird cap and say, that doesn't mean it does mean. Stove them all is what it means. It's a, Jag them and stove them all is what that means. And it's a reference to genocide, just like David Bowie's um, album DD for Diamond Dogs. Um, we're just saying rock and roll, it's genocide. He meant it literally, and he pulled it and rubbed your faces in it. Stove them all. So we know that the bloody racing glove on the cover of Sgt. Peppers is um, next to a doll representing the, um, the, um, the girl in Dealey Plaza in the red and white dress. It's the Shinto Shrine outfit. Um, his name was um, the Willis Girl. And um, the bloody racing glove signifies that Mr. K, they blew his mind out in a car. But by trickery, you get the best of both worlds because they evacuated Lennon and the you only live twice Houdini black box they left behind. But he's the great martyr. Only he could lead the victims and so on. So the weeping and wailing stages began about the lost martyr. And we're dealing with the, the soulless and the forgetful. And the way that Mick Jagger is prancing over the amputees of Gaza. There was a woman on the web this morning offering to sell a kidney to help her family escape Gaza. This is what we get with these Cracker Jacks. So, how it operates on another level is that, like, I, the jurisdiction of the Shadow Clan operates openly from Pittsburgh in Pierce County, Washington, which known as Tacoma, where I live now. We have a... Um, brotherly love fanatic from the Asian police community named Cho, who gets his giggles in sociology class. And one of the students says things like, well, he likes to talk about the Stanford prison experiment. And he's like, ha ha, we're not supposed to do those kinds of things anymore. Ha ha. One student says, it's nobody's business but mine who I sleep with. And Cho's like, oh, that's true. That's true. Ha ha ha. That you'll be an object of satire, entrapment, and genocide if you actually believe yourself when you say that, as is clear from Nick Jagger's Hollywood Venus flytrap machine. So he gets to do it, but anybody else who tries it 
gets assault and exterminated. See, it's the best of both worlds because of Lenin's Houdini. Now, the false assumptions are in a way self-explanatory. And I mean that. You can figure this out just by looking at the way people have responded to the new genocide programs. Dolly Myron, who was a um, Pittsburgh attache of Sean Straub, who was at the Dakota for Lennon that night, um, wanted to, she said she wanted to get Mr. Top fired, but in reality, she was working with Mr. Top. He was the one who had a smoky, broken down old jalopy. He wanted to give me 50 bucks to drive to Louisiana. He was a science teacher who sponsored Bob Casey. A strange story, but legendary in Allegheny County. So, if you go to Seattle Queers and talk to the people who like Owen Jones, who's the divide and conquer man, there's a red line in the sand between the queers and Gaza because of Islam and queer psychology. And Dolly Myron is a Jewish, so there's another red line in the sand. This divide and conquer guy, uh, of political correctness, Owen Jones, who's done a pretty good job about Gaza, I do admit. When seen as acceptable, his annihilation for Jagger of the Houdini black box would say, yes, Seattle should obey and command every command and whim of Dolly Myron because she is one of the sorceresses of the extreme wing of martyrdom in the AIDS attack. She was a friend of Shiono and Gail Burston, who authored the Houdini Bog Box. So the way that works is your trust in McDagger. Are you on the side of life or are you on the side of death? Is the way they see it. So, and let's see you make some of it. You know, you can, nobody's gonna watch a video like this but it's self-explanatory. And the phantom limbs of Gaza are going to be the people look at me and look at queer, but he's falling apart. He can't get it up anymore. And Jagger's 80 and he has all these hotties. Who's bad? Who's been, who's piece of wreckage from Gaza with, where they have phantom limb children for, who may live to be a hundred. Phantom limbs like are at the root of Bly Sanders, Blaze from the Cinders in the Hollywood heritage that led to the Houdini black box. He lost an arm and then created in World War One and then created the idea of the invisible arm. So what we see is what we get when it comes to Jagger Stovall. But he gets the best of both worlds because, why? Because you're bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwiches, the whole bunch of you. BT, Breakthrough uh, Times or whatever it is that stands for Biden and Trump with the BLT, the invisible L, missing. The best of both worlds, the axis is operating from two wings. You know, it takes two wings to fly. Remember that dude from the quarryman? I mean, the pitman? The dude from the quarryman, the pitman. Remember? Remember? It doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Ha ha ha.